right. So this is going to be on the uh, Michael Knowles segment on the uh, Fox News uh, yesterday. I don't remember who the other guy is uh, that got upset with him, but um, this is this is another reason to be honest with you, Dad. I, for for the pretty uh, pretty much for the fact that I I, I really like Michael Knowles more than than Ben Shapiro. I really like him more because he's a little bit he's a little bit more um, more to the point. He doesn't he doesn't really pull any punches at all. He doesn't really care about. He really does not care about your feelings. He said something about the young climate change activists. I'm going to try to go ahead and um, I think everyone knows who I'm, who I'm talking about. I'm going to try to keep that out so I can you know, not get this video demonetized. Um, and so what he, what he said is that everyone and I'm, I'm going to paraphrase but um, they're exploiting a, they're exploiting a mentally, mentally old child and, and, and it's you know, to me, yeah, that's the truth. The left is absolutely exploiting this this young lady for their gain to push what they want pushed. This is and and the thing is is that exactly the reason why that 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 guy got upset is the exact reason that they put someone out there that has these issues. I said this I said this on Twitter not too long ago. I said this is uh, matter of fact it was yesterday and it got a lot of likes. The thing is, is that this is Christine Blasey Ford all over again. Oh, great. I didn't use her name. I'm probably going to get the money. Anyway, this is her all over again. They take someone that has something that, you know, that we're not supposed to call out. Or that has done, that has had something done to them or has something that we're not supposed to call out. And then they'll trot that out on them and start pulling, or they'll trap that person out and then they'll start pulling their strings. That's exactly the way, and to be honest with you, you can even see it in the Blasey Ford when she was testifying, how do you have those, 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 those lawyers, and they were, and they were, uh, they were giving her stuff to, to, to read, and, and she was looking, to be honest with you, and, you know, I don't know if that's because of those glasses she put on that, that but it, she, honestly, she looks so goddamn confused up there, she didn't know what to do. And she's reading what they told her to write. Exact same situation with with this this person. She's reading what they told her to write. And everyone and and you, you, you use the age thing and you say well and they'll use the age thing and say well you can't you can't uh she's a teenager you can't say anything negative. Now, I'm old enough to remember when the Covington boys that that Nick Sandman just sat there and smiled at the Native American guy that sat back beating the drum and right inches from his face. And everyone called him a racist because he had a Make America Great Again hat on. And Reza Oslin, <laughs> I'm also old enough to remember when, <laughs> when right there, he he put on Twitter, which is actually, the, the tweet is still up, that, that have you ever seen a kid with a more punchable face? Who, this, let, let's be honest here, they were getting violence uh, um, directed towards them. They were getting violence directed towards them. And I saw, uh, you know, the, to, to look on Twitter, well, people on the left, well, that was different because they're racist. I said, you know what? This is exactly why people like this do not need power. Because if if they consider you a racist, they can do anything to you and they don't care. It's okay. You're not seen to them. But the reason that they trotted this young lady out is because of her 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 issues. Because this helps, and they probably could 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 further help her. You know her anxiety about this whole situation. Michael Knowles did nothing else but point out what everyone was thinking or should be thinking is that we are first of all supposed to sit back and listen to this 15 to 16 year old girl give out economic solutions and or solutions and for for things that most of us don't even understand 
even at 30, 40 years old after college, most of us don't even understand these, these, these things. And we're supposed to just sit back and just say, yeah, they will, you know, whatever she says, yeah. Because it goes along with, because the end game goes along with what they, what we're supposed, what they um, uh, what we already think. It's not right. And, I, and I've said it before, same with Christine Blasey Ford. I blame the handlers for this. Whoever's pulling this young lady's strings or whoever was pulling four strings, I blame them for this. Because they've done this to these pe to these two people. And it's not right. That's abuse. So Michael Knowles did nothing because her mom, her, I think it was her mom, um, wrote somewhere that this young lady is, she has anxiety, depression, Asperger's or whatever, got other some other mental issues going on. And we thrust her out into the spotlight like she's just got everything going. Like, like she has everything already figured out. It's ridiculous. And it's the truth. Yeah, she's a mentally ill child. And we're supposed to just sit back and just say and not call these things out. Anyway, that's my thoughts on that. Comment, like, share, subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one. Oh, and um, uh, let me go ahead and um, add. Uh, you know what? The way that guy went off on Michael Knowles, he, you know what? I, I honestly feel like he, he, well, he wanted to show that he was a, you know, he wanted to say he's a badass or something like that. But I can tell you this. I, I, I would have loved to get some of that smoke. I would have loved to get that. I would have loved. Michael knows that. I, I don't. I don't know if this for for certain. Michael knows doesn't look like the most physical guy, but I can tell you this: that bald dude. If Michael knows ever sees this, I would love. I, I I would love a piece of that dude. If he if he threatens or something like that, by all means, send me some send me a message. I, I, I can't stand people like that. Um, like I said before, comment, like, share, subscribe. We'll see you.